The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Farmers and ranchers have enjoyed decent moisture this spring, but a ridge of high pressure that has been impacting the southern hemisphere could change things rapidly. That was the message that meteorologist Brian Bletso shared with attendees at the Montana Stock Growers Mid-Year Meeting last week. You know, for the most part, we knew the winter was going to be pretty tame. We you know we didn't get a lot of cold air that came down, uh, and then we would finally start getting some moisture in the spring, and that has really worked out fairly well. The the one issue that I have, and you know, it, we're never very far away from drought in in the plains, so. Uh, that's kind of where I'm worried going forward. And I think, you know, you're talking about planting windows. You're worried about well, how long this is going to continue. I think we're going to be seeing very clearly that this pattern is going to shut off uh, for a little while. And to, to the point, you mentioned the Southern Hemisphere in Mexico. They've been under the influence of just a tremendous ridge of high pressure down there that has been fueling drought. That ridge of high pressure, uh, when it's that strong under this pattern, essentially leaves an artifact in the atmosphere that kind of will expand and contract and whatnot. That northern part of that is going to flex on the southwest and the western part of the United States here in the next couple of weeks. And the northern edge of that is going to have an influence up here in Montana. So, uh, you know, last week it snowed in North Dakota. Uh, and we really haven't hit a lot of warm stretches at all. And I think we are fixing to turn this on a dime where we've had this kind of wet, cooler spring. We're going to get about a heat and dryness coming here shortly. So what can Montana expect as we transition from El Nino to La Nina? Historically speaking, El Nino does not benefit Montana. La Nina does. And I'm worried about Montana having a little more of a winter this, this winter than what we had last winter, which doesn't take a whole lot, obviously, because it was, it was so mild. Even in giving advice to folks in the Southern Plains, I'm like, look, there's, there's a lot of cheap hay out there right now, but you start talking about drought, those hay prices are gonna, are gonna start to skyrocket. So, and even I do you know, personal advisement for my own family. I'm like, look, I, I'd buy some cheap hay. <laughs> There's a lot of it out there, right, lot now. Of it out there right now, and it doesn't take very long for it to change. So, the, obviously, when these longer range patterns, you know, we always talk about La Nina and El Nino and what they can mean. I just don't necessarily like it when somebody puts all their eggs in one basket because clearly last year is a great example, you know, where the, the areas that should have been benefited from El Nino didn't, and that's where they're having real problems with dryness and drought right now. For the full agricultural forecast by meteorologist Brian Bledsoe, visit westernagnetwork.com. We'll be right back.